what is the Fermi paradox? The, the Fermi paradox can be stated in one single sentence. Where are all aliens? So the thing is, uh, the universe is immense. We have uh, maybe maybe a trillion galaxies or a hundred billion galaxies or something like that, approximately. And, and if our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is a typical galaxy, then it has, has approximately a hundred billion stars, right? And we now know that most stars have planets, so-called exoplanets. We have found exoplanets in most of the stars that we have been studying. So it looks like planets are very common. And if we total, if we add up the number of stars in the universe, it's a, it's a very, very large number. A trillion multiplied by a hundred billion. A trillion is... Uh, if you multiply a hundred billion, which has 14 zeros, a billion has nine zeros, right? Million, billion. Yeah. So it's 11 zeros times 11 zeros. That's 22 zeros. And if each star has just one planet, then you have 10 raised to 22 planets. One with 22 zeros behind it in the entire universe. That's the number of planets you have. Now, let's say 0.1% of them are in the habitable zone of their stars where water can be uh, can flow as a liquid then still you have 10 raised to 20 or so planets in the habitable zone so there are so many planets out there in the universe in the habitable zone then there should be then there should be intelligent life out there it should be pretty common right and th and yet we don't see any signs of intelligent life in the world we have never detected any transmission or any any telltale sign telltale sign that indicates that some something artificial is at work there something that indicates uh, an intelligence an intelligent intelligent life behind it so we have thus far found no signal that is unequivocally proven to be a signal from a different civilization. And therefore, it appears to us that we are all alone in the universe as an intelligent life form, as an intelligent species. And even if there is microscopic or microbial life out there, it doesn't look like there is any intelligent life out there. So that is the paradox. Even though there are so many galaxies, so many stars, so many planets, and yet we don't find any evidence of intelligent life. There is not one signal we have received. That is the Fermi paradox. And um, there are a number of theories that seek to explain why it is so. Maybe space is so vast that it is difficult to find signals from other species. Maybe intelligent life is more intelligent than us and it doesn't want to be found. Maybe it doesn't just beam out signals into space in all directions. Maybe it conserves its, en its energy and uses energy very effect effectively, efficiently. So that there are no wasted transmissions. That's another possibility. Or maybe it's so advanced we, can, we don't even know how to detect it. So these are possibilities. Or maybe we are truly alone in the universe, which is frightening to some people. Well, so, so these are various possibilities. These are various theories and speculations. We still don't know what is uh, what really is out there. Is there intelligent life or are we truly alone? So, so that is the paradox. Where are all the intelligent aliens, right? So as of today, we don't have answers. We are still seeking answers. We have these radio telescopes and the SETI SETI project that that seeks that listens to the universe for signs of some intelligent life, etc. I think as our technology gets better and better, we will, we will I think we'll get a better understanding of what really is out there. There are some people who believe that we will make our first contact with intelligent alien civilizations within this century. Some people believe they are already here. So as of today, we don't know. There is no evidence, 100% uh, uh, proven evidence. So that is a paradox. Where are all the aliens?